I don't want your friendship anymore because I don't like what you did to your father the other time I told him. What did I do to my father? You have forgotten it already, you see? You told him a lie. Which lie? I began to suspect that Irigo might have told his father so many lies he could no longer remember which. You told him a lie to get 50 copper from him. I reminded him. You told him it was a religion copper. How does it concern? His voice was strung down. Is it your father or was it your father's money? It did not concern, but I remembered something my father told me about one of my uncles once. He had said, if a good goat goes about with a bad goat, who eats people's yam tubers? The goat soon learns to eat yam tubers. Also, our teacher in primary for the year before had said to us on occasion, show me your friend and I'll tell you who you are. It may not concern my to Rigo, but I don't want to know but I don't want to know people who do things like that. But it is not your father's money, is it? No, it is not. I agree. But Dede, but Dede sent me to school because he said he did not go to school himself. And he wanted to, his children to make sure that no one cheats him because he has no education himself. But you are using your own education to cheat your father because he did not go to school. I don't want to have friends who do that kind of thing. I explained to Erugu. Look! Anyway, you are just saying this because you people are very poor in your family and you have no means of getting any money from your father. Look at you. Everybody in our class laughs at you behind your back because you are the servant of a teacher. It was Erigo turns to be afraid that I might attack him for he began to work very fast indeed. Erigo, don't run away. I called in a friendly voice. There is nothing to run away for. It was right that we were very poor. He had said the truth the same way that I had told him the truth about how I felt about his behavior. But it was wrong that if my father had money, I would have tried to cheat him out of it. I had, I had stayed with HRC for three months and he had never lost the cover through me. If he sent me to the market to buy food stuff, I would give him back any change I had, even if he did not ask. On two occasions, while sweeping the rooms, I had, I had picked up some money from under the mat and I have handed it back to him. It was the kind of thing that Dede taught us to do. Even though we were very poor, he was always proud to boast that there was no thieves among his children. It also made my brother and I glad to add to his pride. Erigo did not stop. He continued to run, increasing his pace until we could no longer see his back. I was sure that it was a good thing that we parted company. That was the end for chapter 8. That's what I thought for chapter 9. Have a nice day. Bye.